In this video, I will walk you through the changes the body undergoes from the moment a person dies right through the various post-mortem stages. As soon as a person dies, the body temperature begins to drop because circulation ceases. Each hour, the body temperature falls about 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit until it reaches room temperature. The first visible change to the body, occurring 15 to 20 minutes after death, is paleness of the body, known as pallor mortis. The capillaries right below our skin provide us with the lively glow of being alive. We don't realize it unless we blush. Without the heart beating, blood cannot reach the skin and begins to turn pale. This process is identical for all people, but it's less immediately apparent in people with a darker skin. The third stage, starting about two hours after death, is known as rigor mortis or a post-mortem stiffening of the body's muscles. Immediately after death, a corpse will go flaccid. All the muscles will become relaxed and limp, but the whole body will stiffen again after a few hours. This is because calcium builds up in the muscles, causing them to tense. The first muscles affected will be the eyelids, jaw and neck. Over the next several hours, rigor mortis will spread down through the chest, abdomen and legs until it finally reaches the toes. When the body is alive, filaments consisting of the proteins actin and myosin interact. These two molecules lock together, pulling the muscles' filaments toward each other. When thousands of filaments pull together, all at once, over and over, you have a muscle contraction. Once the actin and myosin molecules stick together, they stay that way until another molecule called ATP forces it to let go. Your body uses the oxygen you breathe to help make ATP. That oxygen supply ends, of course, with death. Without ATP, the filaments cannot slide away from each other. The result is that the muscles stay contracted. Rigor mortis starts 2-6 to six hours after death, peaks 12 hours after death and can last for 24-84 to 84 hours. The combination of body temperature and body stiffness is one of the most useful methods of determining the time of death because its progression is mostly predictable. Rigor mortis does not end because the muscles relax, but because another process called autolysis or self-digestion takes over and breaks down the muscles. The fourth stage is called liver mortis, which is a discoloration of the body. In the process of liver mortis, gravity pulls the blood downward, causing the upward-facing parts of the body to grow pale and the downward-facing parts to darken and even turn purple. The term liver mortis is Latin and translates as the discoloration of death. Liver mortis starts about 3 hours after death and becomes fixed at about 12 hours. By gently pressing on areas of the skin that show liver mortis, pathologists can try to estimate when a person died. If the area turns pale and then becomes coloured again, that means the blood has not fully congealed yet and the person may have passed within the last 12 hours. If the area remains the same darker color, it suggests that the victim may have been dead for longer than 12 hours. They can also tell if the body has been moved since the time of death. For instance, if the police finds a man laying face down, but experts find signs of liver mortis on his backside, it is possible that he died on his back and was flipped over more than 12 hours after death. And finally, there's the issue of our bacteria. Our body has roughly as many bacteria as it has cells, and many of these bacteria live in our large intestine where they digest our food. When we are alive, our immune system keeps them in check. But when this system stops functioning after death, bacteria begin to feast and start to move around. This is a process known as putrefaction. As they feed on our tissues, these bacteria expel gases like methane and ammonia that create the bloating frequently seen in the abdomen. If the body is left at 50 degrees, it will take about 24 to 72 hours for the internal organs to decompose, 3 to 5 days before the body starts to bloat, and about 4 months for the soft tissues to decompose until just the skeleton is all that's left. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it and you want to see more of my educational videos, please consider subscribing to my channel.